Hello Divine Feminine and welcome to your power message for Monday, Magical Monday. So big message coming through from the angels today. Start this week as you want to go on. Start this week as you mean to go on. That means have compassion. Treat others today and this week and for the rest of your life the way you want them to treat you. The message says, I release. So again, another sign that even though we're past the full moon and past this beautiful portal that's open now, we are still releasing things. And as a divine feminine, we are releasing the need for it now, the need to criticize our twin, the need to have things differently than they are. So the angels say, release the need to criticize anyone and accept the people around you exactly as they are. And when we do that, we feel at peace. Think how loving it is to love people just as they are. Think how amazing it is when people say to you, I love you just as you are. You feel worthy. You feel like everything's going to be okay. You feel like you don't need to prove yourself to anyone or do anything differently unless you decide to change. I love you just as you are. I love you, Divine Masculine, just as you are. I accept you just as you are. And I release the need right now in this moment to criticise you because I know that you are learning and growing and evolving just as you are. And don't we feel peaceful when we use those words? And that energy comes in around us of peace. I am peace. Using the word peace is the most peaceful thing we can do. They did studies on the word peace and the way people feel saying the word peace has this calming effect on the body, the mind, the soul. It's very beautiful. I am peace. So as nice as it is to say I am safe, sometimes all we need to do is remind ourselves to be at peace. I am peace. I am at peace with my journey. I am at peace with my life. I am at peace with my situation. I accept the people around me just as they are. And that means you don't need to change anyone or control anything or have anything a different way. Just focus on being in the moment. I am. I be. This is okay. Because we realise when we just allow things to be that we are actually okay and everything is okay in this moment. So yes, there may be things you want to have different or do different or, you know, you may want your life to be a little bit different. But in this moment, you are okay. It's going to be okay. And that's the message coming through. So today, Start this week as it means to go on by releasing the need to criticise anyone. Remembering we all do things our own way. You know, what you think about a situation may be a lot different than another person thinks about a situation. So, for example, you may be the one on that bus looking out of the window at the gorgeous view. <clears throat> you know, you're looking at the view, even if things are going wrong or you feel blocked Remember, everything's always going right, in the right direction. But you may be looking at your journey in a very positive way today. A new week, opportunities ahead, anything can happen. You're seeing it in a great way, thinking, wow, I know my twin's learning, everything's working out, the karmic situation is growing us both, it's okay. There's nothing to fear. I know that I trust and love and we belong together and I'm enjoying being me right now and I'm excited about life and everything that's growing and coming to me. And that's looking at things from a higher perspective, seeing the view out of the window on this bus that you were on as wonder and joy and expansive and just magical scenery. Or you could be the person sitting opposite that person looking at the wall on the same bus going in the same direction to the same destination, but looking at a wall instead. And, you know, if you've ever seen that, um, you know, it's a meme or whatever it is on social media going around where you've got two people on a bus, both going in the same direction. One's looking at the wall, 
you know, because they're on this path and there's a wall this side, one's looking out at the scenery. All the other person has got to do is change the direction, change the direction of their sight, their thoughts, and look the other way, redirect their energy, and then they can see the beautiful view instead of that block. So are you looking at your life right now in a negative way, thinking, oh, it's all stuck, he's with his karmic partner, it's not going to happen, what's the point, I might as well give up, I might as well move on, you know, I might as well just block him back, all these things. Remember, thoughts become things. So be the person who releases all of that today and say, I'm going to look at it differently now. I'm going to release the need to control or criticise and accept things and people and my twin just as they are. I'm going to accept my life today just as it is and be okay with that. I'm going to be okay with it because I'm okay. Because you are. So what I want to do today is bring in the Indigo Angel. So you may even see that meme today. Okay, I've seen it going around Twitter. Okay, so, you know, this is ages ago because I'm not on Twitter or Facebook or anything. I'm just on TikTok and I'm on YouTube. That's it. I can't cope with any other platforms. I haven't got time for them, you know. Two is enough. But, you know, if you see today, the angels are going to show you or you may see something that makes you think a little bit. Are you looking at a brick wall right now? Are you looking at the opportunity to climb over that brick wall? Remember, it's always your choice. Regardless of the situation, we always have a choice. We can always choose to be happy. You know, instead of thinking, oh, my mask has wrecked my day or, you know, he's done this. Or remember, nobody can wreck our day without our own permission. Nobody has that kind of power over us. So take back your power today and say, I don't care what you're doing. I'm going to focus on me. And obviously you're going to care what they're doing, but think, okay, I'm going to decide to be happy. I'm going to choose to be happy. I'm going to choose to focus on the good and the blessings and be grateful no matter what the situation is. I'm not going to criticize you. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to blame you for anything. I'm going to release all of that in exchange for peace. And I'm going to accept the situation and the people around me just as it is and as they are. And you'll feel an immense sense of relief from that. So what do we need to know today as a divine feminine? Here we go. So the message coming through today is look through the situation. Absolutely. Look through the situation. Isn't that powerful? So whatever's going on, look beyond it. Look from a higher perspective. Remember, there's always a blessing hidden in there. There's always a plan. There's a reason for all things. When we get rejected, it's redirection. When there's a delay, it happens with love. You're being protected. There's always a plan. And have compassion. Honestly, angels, you blow my mind. Thank you. This is what they told me at the beginning. So start this week as you want it to go on with compassion, understanding and love and acceptance so you have the tools and the skills and the power to look through the situation to see things with the eyes of love to release the need to criticize you don't need to do that you don't need to try and make it different right now just allow it to flow and accept things the people the situations just as they are and i love that we've got this gorgeous waterfall on the calendar with that gorgeous sun and it's just a really pretty scene. Imagine you're walking around there and how peaceful you'd feel. So water is very peace bringing, you know, maybe having a nice cleansing shower or relaxing bath or going near bodies of water or just visualizing water running or knowing that you are at flow with your life. I am in the flow of my life today. I release the need to have things a different way than they are. I release the truth because I know my truth. So this is also about releasing the truth. Maybe you think, well, the truth is he's with a karmic partner and that hurts me. But you can release that truth in exchange for peace, looking through the situation. Okay, that's the truth in the physical. What's this spiritual truth? The truth is he may be hurting today, missing you in a situation that just isn't very nice. So look through that situation and focus on peace, compassion, love. And I feel Archangel Samuel, the finding angel, but also the angel who helps you with love and with your spiritually based twin flame journey is helping you to feel at peace and to feel at one with things and to know that you are one. 
and they're what you feel they feel. So focus on love and compassion, accept them as they are, because remember, when you accept people as they are, they accept you as they are. They, they accept you as you are, and there's nothing more beautiful than that. I hope this helps. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.